Sup dudes, got a pretty cool video for you today. This might be the most XP anyone's ever earned on World Tanks. Now, if anyone knows anyone who's got more XP than this, I want you to tell me. Just message me on site. I really want to see someone's name who's got more XP than this, but I feel like this might be the most XP anyone's ever earned. Anyway, it's on Abbey, we're in the T-44. So it's got pretty okay armor for its tier. So we're going to decide to go down the left flank on this map. Now, you could go to the city. I wouldn't advise it though. So there's these camping TDs are the, are the point of going down the city. On this side, it's not so bad. You, you can go up to the middle and maybe not get shot by a camping TD. But the super health spied and he's dead. Instantly, yes. That's the reason I don't go city on the other side of the map. Now, you could go to the right side, but that's more reserved for super heavy tents. And I always go down the left side on this map. It's just my personal preference. Anyway, the T-44, been grinding this tank over the Christmas Marathon to get to the Object 430. I've heard the Object 430 is a good tank, so I uh, thought I'd grind it over the Christmas period. And holy moly, the boosters you could get over the Christmas period were insane. And the result is this video. Uh, there's also a little easter egg at the end that you should watch out for. Anyway, we come to this middle position here. There's normally, there'll be some tanks coming. However, as you can see, there's nothing here. But we're going to be a bit more cautious because I always have a bad feeling about pushing up really hard and I'm getting absolutely wrecked by enemy tanks. So you always got to be a bit cautious. However, I see that there's no one here. There's no one coming. And I should get shots on the T-43 or 44 by going to this position. But sadly, there's a building in the way. There's TSM. That maybe I get shots on, but sadly there is a massive uh, church in the way. And oh, oh, here we go! Oh, there we go! <laughs> Amazing lasher shot. I right, only spotted. Let's push around this side. Maybe we get some flanking shots. In the only oh, here's a P43 turret. This is going to be an easy fight. I'm pretty sure he can't pen me. He might be able to pen me if he loads girl. He definitely can pen me if he loads girls. But we're going to take that chance. We're going to be super aggressive here. Now, what I always take away. If you see someone on the flank. If they're the only person on the flank that you see at that moment. And they pull back a long distance away. Then they're probably on their own. On that flank. They're probably going to teammates. They're probably reversing two teammates. To get cover. So, with that information that I've deduced. I always push forward when I see someone reversing to the teammates like this. Like this example here. Right. Oni's down. Nice fire on his engine. This table 4 is a stock table 4 and I feel <laughs> incredibly bad for him. However, we're going to try to go for the tracking shot here and we're not going to get it because he gets killed by our teammates. Also, watch this IS on our team. He's a bit of a, a, bit of a weirdo. I feel like this Hellcat here tries to block me. But, uh, never mind. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe he just doesn't know how to drive. Right, it's time to push into their spawn. Get some flanking shots on the TDs up here. Three minutes into the game. Game's almost over. Anyway, we're driving up here and we get to this rock. And there's a Persian! To be honest, I wasn't really expecting the Persian to be here. I was expecting it to be in the city or something. Anyway, he's ignoring me and going straight for our Hellcat trying to get the kill here. So we're trying to save our little Hellcat buddy. Gonna try and go for the tracking shot here. Got the tracking shot. Always there for tracking shots, that's my big tip for you. Another tracking shot and he's down. Now the IS is going to have a not like that. And he's going to go for the shot. Now I feel like the IS is going to go and push me here. So I get out of the way of him. Uh, not sure what his problem was. Maybe I denied him a mission or something. Yeah, t have AT. Good tank, but not in that position. I feel like he would have benefited his team more if he went down this flank. Now, uh, we're trying to get shots on the SU-130 here. We can also try and spot the TS-5 down there. Oh, the 110 has come out. I feel like he should have made sure he won the right flank before he came back to base. Because I think he might have lost this for his team. And then the SCRVS-1 shoots me from who knows where. It's one of those S-1s in a natural habitat at the back of the map, camping the red line. Now, I don't play camping TD, so I don't really know where, he, where the spots are. So I have no idea where he's at. Just to pin our teammates to show that there is a tank hidden hiding in the bushes that they're still not noticing. That T29 has still not turned his turret towards the enemy. He's been shot twice. 
Gonna try and sit here and spot him, but maybe his camera rating is too good for me to spot him from here. But nevertheless, the S130 gets taken out by the IS there. Trying to find this STRV. Uh, probably should move up now. There's not many t enemies left, so we're gonna go and try and get some more damage. Drop down this hill carefully. Uh, casual three and a half thousand damage in about five minutes into the game. So pretty good game for me so far. There's still a couple of tents left. There's still the opportunity to make some more damage and get some more juicy XP and juicy credits. I'm super sad that the Christmas event is over. They can't get all those juicy XP now. Oh, I grinded about six tents from stock to the next tent because of the Christmas event. It was insane. If you want to know how I get all the XP and how I get all the boosters to work properly with each other and how I get these massive amounts of XP, Go watch my other video. I'll put it at the end of this video. It's just details on how to get that next year. I'm going to get up close to the S1. He bounces me somehow. He easily overmatches armor. Easy peasy. He's down. Special 4K damage. Unicum. Nice, nice, nice. The IS doesn't like me, I can see. So there's just a captured King Tiger left. And he'll probably fall to the Scorpion G or the S51 in a minute. And that's pretty much the game over. Casual 4,000 damage in the space of not very long. GG. So guys, the XP. We made a juicy 26k XP-ish. Almost 26,000 XP. It wasn't even a Mark A standard, it was a first class. And we got 26,000 XP. 92,000 credits. 26,000 XP. If you want to know how I made this much XP, uh, go check out my video. I'll link it. I'll give you just a couple more seconds that I'll put at the end of this video, and you can go check it out. But anyway, a few more stats 1200 base XP, 4000 damage, easy peasy. That was a really easy game somehow. Also, a bit here just shows how the XP is calculated. You get the, the base, and then you get premium time on top of that, and then you get the holiday ops bonus, and the time speed. But anyway, there's a video at the end. Also, this is a bit of an easter egg. Uh, six, six battles, 66,000 XP, in an average 11k game. Woo! I'm going to miss the Christmas special. But anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I've been so that. Uh, make sure you check out my other videos about World Tents and all that crap. And War Thunder and all that lovely stuff. And like and subscribe and all that jazz. And I'll see you in the next video.